I'm particularly excited about the Discovery Fund initiative of CTF because it earmarks money that's going to specifically go to new research and development to potentially find cures for the various problems related to neurofibromatosis. My postdoctoral fellowship at Caltech was made possible by the Young Investigator Award I got from the CTF in 2016. I'm happy to accept the Young Investigator Award, which I was awarded just this past year. And that really has let me do a number of things. I think um, first and foremost um, that my project focuses on malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumors, which are rare. And part of studying a rare disease is that it's not always the easiest to get funding, so I appreciate the opportunity. What we've been trying to do with, with CTF is to um, collect the data that is coming from research and uh, put it in a data repository together with Sage Bio Network. All of this data will serve the, the purpose of selecting better candidates in the future. So all of this information is available. More recently, I've received funding from both uh, the DDI award scheme and the clinical trial award scheme. And the DDI award scheme helped us to look at treatments for that. Um, and those have now gone into a clinical trial. We initially got started in NF uh, about 10 years ago when we received funding at, for the Drug Discovery Initiative. We got a couple of pilot awards for that. The CTF is now funding our lab currently through the CTF Synodos, which we are part of uh, working on the NF1 pig model for integrated look at NF. CTF supports the NF clinical networks with both financial support and community support to care for patients with NF. CTF helped fund our research by giving us a Synodos grant to support characterization of a pig model for neurofibromatosis type 1. They welcomed us with open arms um, and helped to educate us about what NF was and how to actually successfully execute our research. Presently, they're uh, helping support two major projects. One is a natural history study of NF1-associated optic pathway gliomas, where we're enrolling 250 patients from around the world. And this is gonna be a, a landmark study by which we'll understand the natural history of these patients and thereby be able to understand who's at risk for developing vision loss. CTF has been really integral for many reasons to make my work happen. One way is I've been doing several surveys um, that have gone out to the NF community and I would not have been able to do that without the CTF NF registry. It's been an absolute critical um, part of my, my research. Not only that, also the engagement with the patient representatives. You know, what are the questions that I'm asking? Are they the appropriate questions that should be asked? So it's good to come here to talk to like-minded people, uh, especially in fields such as uh, cancer research, some more patient-centered research, clinical trials, and things like that. It really gives great context to the work that we do. The Children's Tumor Foundation over the last couple of years has really developed answers to each of those questions. How can we de-risk a rare condition to pharmaceutical companies? The Children's Tumor Foundation is all about collaboration. It's all about community building, and I think my, my message to the world would be everybody who wants to be part of a courageous pioneering community, join the NF community.